Oh, hello there. I'm William Osmond, and I can't actually read. This book is just full of pictures I like looking at. Where have the videos been? Why are you guys lazy and not posting? Well, um, none of your business, and we, what am I saying? Not a lot. We've filmed a lot of stuff, but it hasn't been posted. We're gonna compile it all today into the single super mega video full of a bunch of mediocre content for a giant piece of mediocre content. We were at Maker Faire almost two months ago, if not exactly two months ago at this point. We built a Hebicon robot, Peter Streepel and I. So let's look at that. The worst robots we've ever built. Welcome to Hebicon, the robot contest where winning is bad. Are you ready, Peter? We have like three hours to build as bad of a good robot as possible. I think we should go take a look at what other people do. And it looks like a contest is about to start, so we can look at that. Yes, my test. One, two, three, five, six, seven. The hardest part though is just the locomotion. Like, how do you go forward? You need something that goes forward reliably, but also bad. Like, you don't want it to be good, but you want it to actually work. Test. Let's One. go check out the supplies that they provide and see what we can piece together from there and then try to remember what's in the car. We have a bunch of servos and stuff, and I think there are Arduinos. We should make something really smart, really bad. Okay. Where brains make things worse. It looks like toys, scissors, hot glue, generic tools, rubber bands. Should we go dig through the car and see if we can find a servo? What do we have in the trunk of my car? Bad stuff, good stuff, what are we thinking? I don't really know what we've been keeping in here. We need something technologically advanced that makes our robot worse. <laughs> Can we just like light it on We have fire? to step up our game to step down our robot. Peter, can you define what a good robot is? A bag of junk springs. Oh, really, guys? You're gonna eat Ritz crackers by themselves? Here, you wanna dig through there? This is all the stuff I got on Amazon. Is there any addresses on there? Oh, yep. Look at that side, not the other side. Oh, what if we use moisture sensors and you have to spit on the robot to make it go? That's disgusting. Okay. Uh, I think so. Battery holder. Oh, actually, how would you get the spit off to make it stop? We have 20 minutes. We had like three hours when we were first here, but now we actually have less than 30 minutes. The hot glue gun's heating up. The plan is take this thing apart, build a Pop-Tart frame for it, and then we're gonna build a second robot and put little servo legs on it. You know what? That's what we're doing. We're putting little servo legs on the duck, yeah? How many how many channels can you control with the servo? I have three, but we can make a wire harness. Can you, you, can you automate him? It just goes back and forth, that's all it can do. Oh yeah, that's happening. All right, Mr. Ducky, I have a feeling you're not gonna do a lot of moving, but that's okay. Uh, what were you talking about, Peter, that got us to this position of being so late to have a con? I mean, uh, honestly, it's in spirit of the competition, so it was, shouldn't be too big of a deal. I was talking about airplanes. Uh, hey, Cameron John, do me a solid and dig for a hot glue gun stick in the bag. Thank you, actually. I could use a snack right about now. That is not as much motion as I would have hoped for. You win some, you lose some, and in our case, I feel like we lose more than we win, but <laughs> does it rip them off? Oh my God, what do I have to do to make this thing work? I'm done. Peter's done. I beat you. Hey guys, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Your robot terrifies me. Tell me all about it. Um, well, surprise. It's a surprise you won't even tell us. Will, what's your deal? Bill, sorry, you're Bill Osmond. Yeah, I hope your robot moves because I'm not sure mine does. It's Sitting Duck. We named it Sitting Duck. You're disqualified. Robot's on, Robot's prime, Wait, weapon's I, hot. Where do, I, where do I put this microphone? Dodger can help you out. 
Oh, hello. Then let's get this started in three, two, one, go! <laughs> What's the verdict, Daichi? Arena. Morgan! No! <laughs> you won! This, this is genuinely embarrassing. Like, I'm ashamed. <laughs> but my robot is breakfast, if you can see that. And I'm going to murder that robot. Why don't you pick on someone your own size, Will Osmond? Boo! Daiji, what's the verdict? Wait, what happened? I don't know, it's like stop. Dante, oh. congratulations for going out. Wait. That went pretty badly. I won a trophy. For being the worst? Ah, well, I'm glad that's over. Now time for the next low budget, low effort segment. We stuck a small child in the shopping cart and against his will drove him into people and things, including an ATM machine as a poor woman was trying to extract some cash. Thanks, Leo, uh, and enjoy the segment as the curtains slowly, are they coming across or coming down? How are we doing? Yeah, okay. Welcome to the segment I like to call Good luck, Leo, it's not my problem. I just put that right there, and then... Good luck, Leo, it's not my problem! No! 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 Red truck, red truck! Okay, stop! No! Yeah, stop! Don't do it. Don't do it, Cart. No, no! Uh, stop, Cart! Hi, can I have some uh, hot chocolate, please? Small, please. Cart. Is that remote control? Uh, nope, hands, no. here are my hands and feet. Yeah, I'm not controlling it. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, cameraman John. He's always keeping me on my toes. Oh, my toe! The juice in my toe lump is no wrong one, it's that one. It's no longer there. They used to smack them with Bibles. That's what the internet says and it would explode. But it turns out it was a ganglion cyst. I think three people got it right in the comments. Everyone else said cancer and it's thankfully not cancer. I think it might be growing back. We might just end up hitting it with a book someday in the future. Let's watch the video of the juice getting sucked out of the lump in my foot. This looks like a lot grosser. When you have a weird lump on your foot though, you're just, you're happy that it's gone. Like you want it to go away and the sort of suffering or problems of having it become worse than the idea of a needle going into your foot. You can see, oh! Dude, it like exploded into the syringe. It's like a clear jelly. It's like joint fluid. If you get a small like kind of random tear in the sack of fluid around your joint, it can propagate out in a little channel and start ballooning out. And that's what the cyst, I think ganglion, ganglion, ganglion. That was fun. I hope no one was eating while watching this. And I hope no one was eating jello while watching this because that looked like jello. Clear jello or maybe lime, lemon jello. You seen it, cameraman John? I should just like show you and just like cut to a bucket like vomiting. How is the fridge still running? And then VidCon happened. Look at my sweet Creator sandals. Uh, They're kind of growing on me though. We met a lot of cool people. Pretty good. Every video from now on, there's gonna be a guy eating sandwiches so really grossly like. Okay. Right, we gotta get the microphone closer for those sounds. How's her? Ah, uh, A ton of you guys said hi. Like at least three or four. Um, <laughs> it makes it a little easier to just like struggle through and try to make something work. Oh, we met Casey Neistat. He says he still has the hand. I told him if he didn't have it and he threw it away, don't feel bad. But he did say he had it, unless he's lying. I didn't really push it too far about asking to fix it. I don't know. I should have maybe 
whatever. We ran into Casey Neistat while filming with David Dobrik and Tim Tom with the remote control shopping cart. We got to beat up Jonah, who apparently his real name is Nick or something. I don't know. This is weird. I feel weird calling someone by a name that they're called on the internet when their name is real. Cops are literally right there. Are we going to jail? David, we got the cops. We got everything you need for a viral hit, David. Well, let's just go off the stairs. Dude, what's the hallway? David, whatever you do, you gotta go. Come on, come on, come on. We can't, we can't go. I'm so stressed out. Can we just go there and shoot what if we? What if we go to the pool pool? Welcome, um, I'm William Osman and welcome to David Dobrik. How did we find ourselves? Here, you might ask. I don't know. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You were literally there. If you do want to know, go watch Tim Tom's video though. He explains the whole thing. Are we like three Williams deep at this point? There we go. Just have him zoom around so it's funny and then like come through the crowd. Maybe just give him a couple rides around. We, we have to do this really quick. And just have him go into that curve. Can you fill my tape? He's already been free, yeah. yeah. Okay, hop in, Jonah. So avoid the wall. Can I say I'm sorry beforehand? Yeah, no, no. Jonah, I think what matters most is you just enjoy yourself. Good luck, Jonah. Oh, sorry! Oh, my back. Are you serious? Wait, see. My finger was over the lens. No, I feel like a dick. That's pretty funny. Okay, let's go over here. Jonah, how about you have to stand on it like a surfboard? No! Oh, my God! Let's try the other way. Let's go to the curb. That feels weird. How are you feeling? I'm feeling awful. <laughs> One more time, you won't bail so early. Okay. I don't like it when you say, do you want to stop doing him? I don't know, you, you look like you're hurt and then you go, I'm not hurt. So I don't know what you want from me. You gotta charge up first. That's how it charges? <laughs> no, that's always funny. <laughs> this is fantastic. Sorry, Jonah! I can't believe someone actually like signs up to get in the car and lets you drive as recklessly as possible. Is it Friday? So. Today's Friday? I think today's Friday. Friday? Yeah, Friday. Midcon's only half over. Oh, we've got a bunch of boxes to open. This is a mess. Oh, and the ice cream! We made an ice cream launcher. Hi, I'm William Osmond here today with my gay lover Morgan, and today we're. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going off the comments. <laughs> and brought it to VidCon, but it kind of sucked. Diana, do you want one? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, I, we've been so bad at getting the videos out after filming them. I just... Is it, and then it's old and it's stale and VidCon's old and it's not even that great and I want to make a better one. The whole point of the launcher was to do a multi-step project where we do different things with it and then we haven't done that. So now it's like, do we build a better one and just like say it was for fun at VidCon? I don't really know. We are so bad at making videos. It's not even funny. Let's open boxes! The shirt is from Rumble Lab Moultrie. Is that your, I, I, I can't, I, this shirt is hilarious. I really like it. It's got my face on it, but it's not like a flattering. Is this flattering? You know First box. We gotta go fast because there's a lot of packages and I feel really bad that we don't do this more frequently. <gasps> this is like glued together. See the hot glue? Allie, what have you done? Oh no. <laughs> Special pistol. The creativity you and your friends display every day is really in, un, uh oh, inspirational. Oh, it looks like a you. This is not on you. This is 100% on me. Just the reading level is I don't know, maybe third grade. But Ali from Florida, thank you very much for whatever potentially horrendous thing is inside of this bag. Oh God, what is this? Don't look at me when I change. Daddy, what do you put your feet in first? Oh my God, could you imagine having to like take this off to go to the bathroom? One second, guys. Is that on? Is this a furry?
thank you, Allie. Next. <laughs> oh, this is from Andy of How to Make Everything. Oh, this is gonna make a mess. There's blood on this foam. Jeez, Andy's cat hair is all over it. Oh my god. Thanks for the house, Andy. Might get a little cold in the winter. How did you get, oh, it's, oh, there's a hole. Thank you for the new home, Andy. And the t-shirt. I will live in it. Yeah, lever nuts. I think this is the first thing we've ever gotten for free after asking for it for free. I've always wanted a stripper. Can I say that? Thanks, Wego Levernut. Who needs video games or drugs when you have Wego Levernuts? Can of cat food, Ethan G. And it's for cameraman John because I couldn't find socks. Uh, thank you, Ethan. A didgeridoo. Did they leave a note with this? I can't remember. I'm so bad at keeping track of stuff. But thank you guys for the didgeridoo. This was given to us at VidCon and I'm going to try and play it right now. First try. There's two things going through my head right now. Practice makes perfect and quit while you're ahead. And that's enough boxes for one video. We've got too many. Let's do them on the next video. And until next time, I'm Michael Reeves. <laughs>